All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, let's make some peace <laughs> in terms of a logo. So let's get going. All right, peace is a universal phrase used worldwide to symbolize peace. Basically, no fighting, no war, nothing of that nature, just peace and harmony and everyone being happy. So what I wanna to do today, uh, when it comes to kindergarten and first grade, I do wanna make sure you guys know what the symbol looks like, cause it's universal and we'll decorate it any way we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a piece of paper and something to draw with. So in my case, I'm gonna use a marker and it's not gonna be perfect, but it's okay. So I'm gonna use the color orange and I'll do, ooh, this is a pretty color. I'll use, what is this? Turquoise. So what I'm gonna do first is you wanna make a nice big circle and you're gonna do two of them uh, overlapping one another, meaning, sorry, not overlapping, uh, they're concentric. So one's gonna be bigger and one's gonna be small on the inside. And that way our circle will be like a ring. So what we're gonna do is find something either round, like a plate. Um, I have a plate on me right now, so I'll tell you what, I'll just freehand it. So here we go. So I'm gonna do the inside with uh, this color right here. Sorry, the outside, I mean. So I'm gonna go from the top, side, down, and back around. Now, it's not perfect, as you can see, and it's okay that it's not. There we go. Now, before I do the inside, I'm gonna do my other one in pencil, because you wanna erase some stuff, okay? So I'm gonna go my inside circle right here, a little bit further away from the other circle, but not quite. Equal distance the whole way around, okay? Let's try your best and you guys should be good to go. Now, here's the cool part. Uh, in order to create the inside parts of the peace sign, you can either use a ruler or we can just use freehand. So if I were to do a freehand, you wanna make sure the two lines going up and down are parallel from each other, meaning that they're right next to each other and they never intersect. So I'm gonna go one line here and one line here. Okay, next step. You're gonna find the middle of where that line is. So I think the middle is like right around here. And you're going to make two lines going diagonally down each direction. So I'm going to go from here, here's my first line, here's my second line. And then I'm going to try to match it to the other side right here. So this part right here, probably this right here, I'm going to go diagonally the other direction. There and there. So now what I can do is I can take my marker, or any color that you would prefer, and I'm going to outline it as best as I can, the circle first. But before you go and outline it, look where I stop. I stop where that line begins, where it intersects. So I skip that and I go on to this side right here. Skip that side. Skip this one right here. And then you're gonna go around all the way to the top again. And I skip that section right there, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down in the middle, stop right there, other side, stop right there. And then on this side, I'm gonna connect these two together. And then I'm gonna connect these two together. And then basically the same thing on the bottom. So you're kind of like making a pizza pie right here. So here's one slice of pizza, and here's the other slice of pizza. Now what you can do with an eraser, you may erase uh, the parts where they intersect a little bit and where we didn't draw. So I didn't draw there, I didn't draw there, I didn't draw there, and I didn't draw there, and I didn't draw there. So what you're gonna do now is I want you guys to decorate it any way you'd like, um, or you can follow along what I'm gonna do, and we'll go from there. So what I'm gonna do is stuff that I like. Maybe I'll do, hmm. here we go. So again, you guys can do whatever you'd like. I'm gonna do my own thing. So for this section right here, maybe I'll do center parts of flowers. And then with different colors, I will make these parts right here. Ooh, pretty. All right. There we go. This side will go like this. This one. Go like that. And then last one right here. Awesome. All right, next one, maybe I'll just do patterns, I guess. 
I'll do mini peace signs. How's that? Circle, line down, and then two angles. Two angles. There you go. Miniature peace signs everywhere. Pretty cool. Peace signs everywhere. Alright. Little half peace signs here and there. Okay, maybe one right here. All right, cool. What else could I do? Maybe add some stars in this section to create more of a contrast. Just like so. Okay, and then, let's see. Do I have the colors of the rainbow? Could I do a rainbow? I think I can. Oh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. All right, I do have all the colors, so why don't I do that? Here I go. I'll do it from one side to the other. Ooh, there's my red. Oh, it's an ugly rainbow. Try my best here. If you guys didn't know the order of the rainbow. You guys are about to learn right now. Red, orange. There's my orange, yellow, green, I want, I want to do a light green, yeah, there you go, green, blue, Uh, do I have an indigo though? No, I don't. So I'll just do violet. Alright, here's my violet. There we are. There's my rainbow. Cool. Alright, next step. I'm just going to decorate the outside any way I want. And you guys can decide to do it any way you want to. I'm almost done. I just want to do a couple more things just to make it stand out more. And I'm sure your peace sign looks way better than mine. Or I hope it does. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I think I'm done. I obviously can color more if I wanted to. But that's all the time we have for today. Uh, I want to do a little short. That way you have more an opportunity and time to do it on your own and your own pace. Because again, you don't have to go at the same tempo and the same speed as I am. So anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.